Hey guys, Omni here. Last night I went and saw Michael Bay's Ambulance, and I just want to give you guys my quick thoughts on the film. I wasn't too sure if I was actually going to go see this one, but I kind of felt up to it last night and gave it a go. I actually had a decent time with the movie. I wasn't too sure about the premise from the trailers. It definitely looked like it was just going to be a little mindless, and at times it is. It does borderline on ridiculous and cartoony at times, but it was an enjoyable movie. Uh, it, felt, it stars Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Isaac Gonzalez. And it uh, centers around two brothers who are both uh, hard up for cash, decide to rob a bank. Well, one of them is already planning to rob a bank, while the other one just kind of gets roped into it because of medical bills for their wife that they have to take care of, that they're just not able to get financed or backed by their insurance. So it's a very desperate situation for everybody involved. Though one you can sympathize with, the other one not so much. As you can imagine, things do not go according to plan and they end up having to take a cop hostage who during their escape struggles, resists, and reluctantly they end up having to shoot him. As an EMT arrives to take the cop away, they hijack their ambulance and make off with the EMT, the money, and the cop that they had shot and try their best to outrun the police to make it off into their sunset while at the same time trying to help save the life of the officer that they wounded. It's a really thrilling and action-packed, adrenaline-fueled, just insane borderline cartoon at times, man. It is two hours of this car chase, and it just escalates. Everything continues and continues to escalate. And at times, it's extremely tense, dramatic, and uh, pulse-pounding. And it's sometimes just laughably ridiculous. And it really rides these lines really closely. And I, I think the performances are what really helped to kind of ground this whole situation. After the bank heist, we have a switch of perspectives. We have a focus on the bank robbers trying to get away, as well as the team, the task force that is trying to catch them. And we see both sides of this coin and it becomes this cat and mouse game of how can we outsmart the cops and the cops, how can they outsmart them and get them trapped and stop them and save their fallen officer. And it it's it's really in, investing. I, I got really invested in what was going on, especially considering that these two didn't really want to hurt anybody during this situation, especially Yaya Abdul-Mateen's uh, character, who's really the moral heart of this film, along with Isa Gonzalez. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, is definitely having a blast with this movie. He is chewing up every scene that he's in. He can flip from just intense, scary, dramatic, to hilarious, to just cartoony, all in the same scene in a span of seconds. And it's just really fun to watch. Uh, and of course, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II gives a fantastic performance as always. This guy is an amazing actor. And surprise, this is the first time I've seen Isaac Gonzalez in anything, and knowing Michael Bay and what he likes to do, especially with casting, I was blown away by her. She ended up being like quite the, uh, I think one of the grounding aspects of this film that really kept the kind of moral compass in line. And she also had like a really intriguing kind of air around her character, as well as her kind of like setup was really uh, interesting. She's the EMT who's stuck along in this journey trying to keep this cop from bleeding out as they can't stop, they can't go to a hospital because, well, her captors won't do, won't take her there because obviously that would lead to them getting caught. So they're trying their best to do what they can to save this cop on the ambulance while in the middle of this just insane car chase that lasts, like I'd say, like 90% of this movie's length. Um, for a movie that is set in one place, it does start to get a little repetitive as we have a lot of scenes that seem to kind of repeat themselves. Though there is a couple of scenes in here that are extremely intense and just like have you like gripping your seat with what's going on. Borderline unrealistic, but at the same time, the movie sells it in a way that makes it so believable. But of course, I think some of that gets hampered a little bit by Michael Bay's editing, which at times is so chaotic that it can accentuate the chaos of the situation at hand and other times just give you a headache. Um, there are some drone shots in this that make you think that this is Michael Bay's first drone and he's just like, look what I could do with a drone. There's so many like, like looping, sweeping shots that like just almost at times just give me just a head rush and <laughs> throw me out of the scenes at times. 
Every now and then there's some cars that will just crash for no reason. You're just like, why was that car even there? It was one of the cop cars. I was like, that positioning made no sense. Or they'll drive off a cliff. Like, there's things that happens in these some of these action sequences that make absolutely no sense. And it's just Michael Bay's calling card. But it's hilarious and it's fun. So, like I said, this movie rides, like, legitimate, dramatic, action-filled tension at the same time as riding some really comedic action in there as well. So, like, it's just... At times, kind of at odds with its own tone, but I still had a, a lot of fun watching the ridiculous setup that this is. Um, and thankfully, this movie doesn't take long to actually get going. I will say the the, the opening bit. Um, I think with the Ayala Dual Mateen seconds introduction, it's it's fine. It's it's paced out just fine, and I think it gets you into his headspace really easily. It's when Jake Gyllenhaal, you know, gets introduced into the situation just before the heist that. That whole sequence to just get the plot of the movie going was extremely breakneck. Like, not just with the editing, but with the pace of it and the delivering of lines and the snappiness of it all. It was just like, information overload. Yeah, and then things, uh, then the chase happens and this is off the road from there, man. I do recommend it, though, if you're just in for a fun popcorn flick that does have some intense moments. There are some, even some scenes in this that did get almost a tear i'd say a little mist a little mist a little allergy flicker in the eye um here and there um and there's some really graphic scenes in here so like the we got first responders in this and a main focus on our emt her setup scene is is intense and for some might if you're a little squeamish you might not like it it's and it's just kind of sad <laughs> to begin with a situation that just sadly happens in real life that these people have to deal with. And I think that's one thing that Michael Bay does a really good job is showing like love to these people that are put in these intense situations on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, man, my, my heart goes out to these EMTs, dude. They, 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 they put up with a lot, man. They, and they do a lot. They save a lot of lives, man. This gets a mild recommendation for me. If you've got nothing better to do over the weekend or throughout the week, Give it a go. But guys, what did you think of the movie? Have you seen it? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join our conversation in the Discord as well. Links to that on my socials down below. Follow me on each and every one of those. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherritt, Ryan, Karen, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Nate Prouty, and Melita. Thank you guys as always for your continued support. And everybody who's been supporting the channel as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.